I think Avalanche is going to outperform Polygon and definitely outperform Ethereum when it comes to blockchain gaming, right? And I'm going to try and explain why. So right now, Solana is blowing up because it's got basically lower fees and a faster network than Ethereum, right? So it's stealing some of Ethereum's thunder. When it comes to Solana and Polygon, they can only work with Ethereum-based EVMs, right? So basically what people are doing are porting their stuff across from Ethereum into Polygon and into Solana. They can do that with Avalanche as well, but the difference with Avalanche also is that they have a multiple, uh, their multiple EVM, which means they can have customized EVMs that are not Ethereum also be ported over. That's because they have something called subnets, right? And these subnets are basically very efficient and interoperable, but they don't have to be the same thing. They're highly customizable, right? So, for instance, the advantage of those subnets is that they have independent networks. Subnets use virtual machines to specify their own execution logic, right? So they're basically self-contained, but sitting inside Avalanche, right? They determine their own fee regime, maintain their own state, facilitate their own networking, and provide their own security, okay? Each subnet performance is isolated from other subnets in the ecosystem, so increased usage on one subnet won't affect another. Subnets can have their own token economics with their own native tokens, fee markets, and incentives determined by the subnet developer. One subnet can host multiple blockchains with customized virtual machines. Okay, so basically this is an infinitely scaling system where existing platforms can basically run on top of Avalanche. In fact, you can basically run Ethereum, the entire Ethereum network, in one subnet sitting on Avalanche. Obviously, that's not ever going to happen because it's, Ethereum is so large, but it is technically possible. So what you're going to see is organizations that have games, right, gaming companies, so to say, are going to look around. They're going to say, look, Ethereum is too expensive. The gas fees are too high, so we're not going to go there. They're going to look at Immutable and think, well, Immutable is an L2 that provides gas-free transactions for Ethereum. So that basically scales Ethereum such that games can now run on Ethereum cheaply and fast, right? But then those are specific Ethereum EVMs, right? And then you have likes of Polygon, which is their own blockchain. It's faster and you can put your Ethereum stuff over, but you have to adhere by the existing rules in the Ethereum ecosystem. Whereas here in Avalanche, companies can make up their own rules. They can make up their own tokenomics. They can completely customize their own system. And what this is good for is existing games. So they don't have to rewrite existing games. They can basically take existing games and port them over to Avalanche without having to change much because they built their own platform. So you can have companies who've built their own, maybe their own blockchain play to earn system that's been running all this time. And they suddenly decide to go and move over to Avalanche to take advantage of the tokenomics over there, the speed of the blockchain and the user base. So they're gonna pick Avalanche in the long run over any one of these other people. And the more these companies pick Avalanche, I think the higher the price is gonna skyrocket and the better the tokens are gonna do that are within the Avalanche network. That's just my opinion, not financial advice, do your own research.